Um, a great finish to the practice, high energy uh, practice for sure. Um, there was a significant difference in how we started the practice from defense to offense. Defense showed up, play one, ready to rock with the physicality and all that. Offensively, we kind of worked our way through the first group, so it kind of called them up right there, used it as a great opportunity to say, hey, look, this will happen sometimes. Sometimes you start a game and one side of the ball is struggling a little bit, the other side may be doing well. And the bottom line is we got to go to the next play. We get our stuff right, we go to the next drive. We don't make judgments about the outcome of the game based on what happens in the first drill. Bryce was able to come down, make a great drive in that two minute at the end, score a touchdown on the last play. Not the way we designed it, but he's, he's been magnificent with some of those plays off schedule. Um, but it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Um, and I, I just, I love when the energy, what I'm looking for is the energy to match on all phases, the offense and the defense, we're all going for it. There's not one side going and the other side's not. Special teams wise also, just we're flying around. I'll even go out there in the drills, try to run down there with them, um, just to try to match it, try to bring the whole thing together. It's the only way that we make us, it's the only way that we become something is if we push each other. Um, so those are kind of my general big notes of the day, kind of for my initial observation. After the fifth period, is that kind of when things started to change for the offense? What was that conversation? Um, I, that w it was like early. It was like kind of earlier in practice. Yeah, that's what I was talking about right there. So bringing them together, just making sure we're matching energy. Was it a get? Did he was he taken away, or was there something out going on him? Yeah, he it's something in his lower leg. I don't want to get into any details. We're just gonna evaluate him this afternoon as a precaution, and then we'll uh, go from there. I'll have more information for you guys. Similar to what he dealt with in the spring, do you know, Dave? No. Yeah. You um, think it could be potentially uh, serious? Did you get any uh, indication? Got, I got no indication on it. They just kind of was like, okay, he's, he's got something going on. We sent him in. I want to kind of keep it like that for now. When I get more information, I promise I'll, I'll let you know. Dave, you've done a, a pretty efficient job of mixing up and matching personnel on the first team. Why is it important for maybe some of those backups to kind of get those reps early with that group in case of emergency? Right, well, it's just the chemistry, right? So, I mean, I think in any football season, you know, you, you play with your guys and then you always have a practice squad call up or somebody else. And so it's so important that we continue to filter th guys through to get those so that Bryce can see them. You know, there's this me to you factor where he's got to just, he's got to feel this body type, he's got to feel the speed. How does he come out of breaks? How does he like to attack the ball? You know, those types of things. Um, the running backs as well, you know, just running behind the different offensive lines, you know, so they can kind of feel the different style of movement that happens with different guys in there. So really, really critical. And also uh, at times it's also just a challenge to see now you're going to, you're going to take these reps with the first group. How do you respond? Can you just continue to be consistent or does it become something bigger? You know, so we need all that information. When you look at Amir, he kind of flashed today, making a lot of plays, you know, especially looking at his route running. What have you seen from him as he continues to grow up the camp? He's having a great camp. Um, Certainly, the value that he brings as a, as a returner, he's dynamic. You know, he's, he's got touchdown potential as a returner. And then as a receiver, you know, just seeing him being able to, you know, play inside and outside and consistently come up with plays for us, it's so good to see. We talked about challenging our roster. We talked about challenging every room. Um, and he's taking the challenge the right way. And, um, and he's focused and he's, he's uh, serious about it. So I love where he's headed. Good morning, Coach. When you don't look at, did you see what happened? I mean, we I didn't see it. it. Yeah, I didn't see it. I just came over and they just kind of let me know. Trevin Wallace, Dave. Yeah. What, what have you seen from Trevin in the early going? Yeah, Trevin, just seeing seeing the ability, right? Seeing the uh, the talent is there. Now I would like to see him really start to step it up in terms of certainty. Here's the call. Here's where I know I got to go, whether it's in the run game or the pass game, to see that confidence and certainty where there's no hesitation, you know, and I think I think he can feel it too. You know, there's just a different level of, of preparation and intensity these practices call for, and so I would love to see him just continue to evaluate there. He's not there yet, but he's heading in the right direction. With the injuries, Jatavion is getting more work. What have yeah. you seen from him uh, with the more, the more snaps? Just a natural football player. Um, would love to see him continue to just work on the little things, you know, the technique stuff that Coach McPherson is working with him. Um, but the thing we are seeing from him is just finds a way to get open, you know, and he's available as a, as a pass catcher, which is what we're hoping he can do for us, you know. So what a great opportunity. It's that next man up mentality, you know, and as, as we go through the things with Tommy and with Ian, you know, you get 
JT hopping right in there with Bryce and, and showing him how he makes himself available in the pass game. What are you saying in the intensity level of Miles since he's battling Chuba out there? Uh, you know, honestly, the battles to me, like if they're in their right state of mind, they're trying to improve their game every day. I don't see them with that dynamic. They're talking. All those guys are talking and working. They take pride in that room. And it shows, like they set the tempo of our of our practices. They finish these runs, they finish on the passes. Uh, Mike Boone caught some great some great balls down there in the pass drill, and they kind of really work as a unit. Speaking specifically to Miles, he looks great. He looks like he's ready to go. Um, he came in in great shape. He's maintaining it. He's doing the right things. Um, I'm really excited, you know, to see him. Coach, I know it's a couple days away yet, but first day, first day night. What yeah. do you hope to see out of the group? Uh, Great effort, great enthusiasm. I hope the guys that are all cheering each other on, even especially when they're not on. Great toughness. I want to see big hits. I want to see physical blocks. I want to see the running backs finish with aggression and the tight ends. I want to see great smart plays and situations, making great decisions in third down situations, end of half two minutes, end of game two minutes, those types of things. Um, and of, above all, I want to see us finish the fourth quarter like we started the game with that intensity, with all those things. That's what I'm looking for. So it's kind of the formula for what we're trying to do here. And I want to see it come to life in a game setting. Have you thought about if your starters will play Saturday? Or you, how, how do you plan on that? Uh we're still working through that. I think the, the ability to do that all depends on how healthy our groups are. You know, so um, we'll have to evaluate what the numbers look like, knowing we're going to have to play four quarters. So uh, we'll be talking about that over the next couple of days. Dave. I, know you, I know you weren't happy about some of the pre-snap stuff Thursday yeah. night. Has that gotten better the last couple of days, you feel? Yeah, and, and you know, it was like um, it was like the false start thing was kind of an isolated event in that in that environment, you know, and you add fatigue. You know, this these are the practices we need to operate cleanly when we're tired, you know, that the snaps come up at the right time, that we're hitting our motion landmarks at the right time on defense, that we're adjusting to the moving parts, live bullets, you know, and, and watching, you know, the, um, the two minute drill right there, getting those calls in, um, seeing them function better and better. But yeah, we're looking for that, trying to put, the, put a strain on the guys so they have to focus when they're tired. Dave, one of, one of the things that you had really success, a lot of success with last year was the deep deep passing game. Yeah. We haven't seen a lot of that in camp. You saw yeah. one today yeah. uh, from Bryce Domingo. Is that something that comes with time or uh, what's kind of holding that back from being displayed out here for the first week of camp? Yeah, I think it's uh, number one, our scheme defensively is fantastic. So it's really hard. This team, this scheme right here really maximizes the disguise. They, they do so many good things that make it hard for you to kind of know when you're going to be able to get that shot down the field. And so it's just a matter of for our quarterbacks, especially studying our guys to say, this is a look when this shot would be good, you know? And I think, you know, generally speaking, as far as training camps go, like our deep ball production kind of increases the further in a camp we get. And it really does show up more in games. Um, you know, when you're out here in a practice setting, you know, a lot of the times this, the, the defense and secondary play a little bit more conservative in games. They're more liable to like take a shot on a guy or try to cover something where you can set up some of those shots. But, um, and it's definitely something we just have to bottom line, just improve on and get opportunities on. So I'd love to see more production down the field. Yes. Um, but it's been really difficult against our, our defense right now. All right. Thanks coach. Thanks coach. Yep, thanks, thanks, coach. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good day.